Hey, my name's Blake. I'm Tristan. I'm Josh. Welcome to PC193, and today we're going to show you how to operate a JLG 340AJ. Alright, for your PPE, you're going to need your steel toe boots, your safety glasses, and for this machine, you're going to need your harness. Put it on. Flip it at your chest. Put it around your legs. Then you're gonna need your hard hat. Put it on, put your visor up, flip it. All right guys, before operation, you wanna make sure you check all your fluids. Uh, you have your coolant reservoir here, which is right under the full line, good to operate. You wanna check your oil dipstick, make sure you got oil to the proper level, that's good. Uh, then you wanna make sure everything's properly attached and uh, no leaks or nothing loose. All right, on the other side, you wanna make sure you don't have any leaks from your hydraulic fluid tank. Uh, you wanna make sure that the fluid shows between the blue and the orange line on the sight glass when your basket's in the stove position. And you wanna make sure no leaks from the valve block. All right, guys, one more thing you also wanna make sure is that the lug nuts are tight and that there's also no leaks from the hubs inside and out. And while we're here, we're also gonna talk about the ground controls. These are your ground controls. You always wanna make sure these work before going up in the boom and making sure the aux power works to make sure you can get down in case anything happens. Here we have the functions for the basket rotate left and right. We have basket leveling up and down, jib up and down, the telescopic boom, in and out. We also have the main boom up and down, the tower boom up and down, and we also have the turntable rotator left and right. Now that the key is switched to the platform position and the e-stop is pulled out at the ground, I'm going to go over the functions at the platform. You have your drive speed here. You have your basket leveling up and down. You have your horn button your drive and function speed knob right here. We have the basket left and right functions, the tower boom up and down, jib up and down, telescope in and out, your drive forward and reverse and steer functions. And we also have the main boom up, down, left and right. Here is the button for the drive orientation override switch. And we also have the start and aux power functions. The e-stop provides power to the platform so you can start the machine. So basically what I did here was I just jibbed up so the basket cleared the ground when I went up the ramp. Um, made sure I stayed in the center of the trailer and lowered the jib and tilted down so that the bas bottom of the basket is touching the deck. All right, here you have your data plate. It shows miscellaneous things you need to know about the machine. Um, here we're focusing on the gross vehicle, 9,690 pounds. It's under 10,000, so 10,000 above is four chains, four binders, but it's under, so we just use two and two. Um, you also have your tie down points. You can either tie down here or on the front and the back leg. 